Good morning, this is PJ. It is Monday, September 20th, and we are here for our daily lectionary readings. We have our three readings, our Psalm, our Old Testament, and our New Testament, and with it being Monday, it is reflecting on what happened at church on Sunday. Our Psalm reading is Psalms 139, 1-18. Our Old Testament reading is 2 Kings chapter 5, verses 1 through 14. And our New Testament reading is James chapter 4, verses 8 through 17. Let us listen in to our scripture for the day. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my paths and my lying down and are acquainted with all of my ways, even before a word is out of my tongue. O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in shul, you are there. If I take the wings in the morning and set at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely, The darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night. Even the darkest is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for the darkness is as light as you. For it was you who formed me in my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth, your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book written, All of these days were formed for me, when none of them, as you, existed. How weightily to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end, and I am still with you. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5, verses 1 through 14. Let us listen in. Naaman, the commander of the army of the king of Aram, was a great man and in high favor with his master, because by him the Lord had given him victory to Aram. The man, though a mighty warrior, suffered from leprosy. Now the Arminians, as on one of their raids, had taken a young girl captive from the land of Israel, and she served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, If only my lord were with the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. So Naaman went in and told his lord just what the girl from the land of Israel had said. And the king of Abraham said, Go then, and I will send along a letter to the king of Israel. He went, taking with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten sets of garments. He brought the letter to the king of Israel, which read, When this letter reaches you, know that I have sent you my servant Naaman, that you may cure him of his leprosy. When the king of Israel read the letter, he tore his clothes and said, Am I God to give death or life that this man sends words to me to cure a man of leprosy? Just look and see how he is trying to pick a quarrel with me. 
But when Elijah, the man of God, heard the king of Israel had torn his clothes, he sent a message to the king. Why have you torn your clothes? Let him come to me, that he may learn that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came in with the houses and the horses and the chariots and halted at the entrance of Elijah's house. Elijah sent a messenger to him, saying, Go wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be clean. But Naaman became angry, and he went away, saying, I thought that he would surely come out and stand and call on the name of the Lord of his God, would wave his hand over the spot and cure the leprosy. Are not Obama and far, far the rivers of Damascus better than the waters of Israel? Could I not wash in them and be clean? He turned away in a rage. But his servants approached him and said, Father, if the prophet had commanded you to do something difficult, would you not have done it? How much more then? All he said to you was, Wash and be clean. So he went down, and he immersed himself seven times in the Jordan. According to the word of the man of God, his flesh was restored of a young boy, and he was clean. Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of James, chapter 4, verses 8 through 17. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, your sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament, mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned in the morning, and your joy into dejection. Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will exalt you. Do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. Whoever speaks of evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law, and the judge is the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and judge who is able to save and to destroy. So who then are you to judge your neighbor? Come now, you who say, Today or tomorrow we will go such and such to town and spend a year there doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wishes, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Anyone, then, who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, commits sin. And here ends our readings for the day. Have a great day.